KFNN. Headline News Update. And as we uh, get ready to wait for uh, the uh, Fed announcement, it's coming out right now. It looks like uh, eh, maybe down a little. And kind of drifting down a little bit. Uh, down 27 points on the S&P cash. And, uh, of course, uh, we always get a little bit of uh, country and a little bit of rock and roll before the Fed uh, chair comes out and has his uh, presser at 2.30, uh, which would be in 30 minutes if you live in Lutz. But uh, what else do we have? That's kind of it. We're going to have a lot of probably back and forth out here. And we'll be uh, defining what the uh, definition of is is according to the Fed. And everybody will try to parse every word he has to find out whether we're more hawkish or dovish on the economy. But uh, that's kind of it at the moment. So we'll have some movement. Um Two-year note has a nice spike out here. So I'm assuming that means that he's probably a little bit more hawkish. Uh, we'll see what else we have going on. Uh, anyway, uh, with about a minute, uh, I will get on to speaking about uh, what uh, was happening already. We want to also think about looking forward to the ECB tomorrow morning. I think it's about 7.45. Uh, we're still kind of uh, going through uh, the OPEC meeting, and uh, before the announcement, we did have crude oil down about 3%, which is kind of interesting because most people thought that they'd at least uh, hold uh, crude prices flat into this uh, OPEC meeting. We'll find out more. Of course, uh, once we get done with this and probably the ECB in the morning, I'm looking for fund buying for the next couple of uh, days. Uh, it will probably be fairly concentrated, so we may have one of the uh, biggest blow-off tops coming in the market for a while. Other big things going on, which we'll talk about in the show in just a few minutes, is uh, SK Hynix, uh, one of the biggest uh, bombs in memory. We'll be back in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial